In a valley of boulders just outside the Joshua Tree National Park is the historic Monument House. Its pink, blue, and green exterior has been the star of many social media posts, but the admirers can now spend a night at Joshua Tree's Monument House. The postmodern home comprises a trio of cubes punctuated by unusual geometric shaped windows and doorways. Each is painted a different color, apparently chosen to evoke the shades of cactus, desert rock, and sky. This is a very unique property. Let's go take a tour of it. The Monument House was built by architect Josh Schweitzer as a family and friend retreat and is now an Airbnb located on five acres of property one mile outside of Joshua Tree National Park. Boulders everywhere to explore, to climb, there's little crevices and it's just such a beautiful landscape here at the Monument House. And the house stands out so well amongst the scenery with the bright colors, the funky geometric windows all around and it's built with these three different units and it just looks incredible. Well, you can't take your eyes off of it whenever you're driving past the road. I'm sure everybody is looking here at the Monument House. Whenever you're driving here up to your property, dirt roads, you'll pull up your driveway. There's a private parking area here for you and electric charging if you bring your electric car here. They leave this wagon right here for you to pack all of your stuff in and you'll walk down the path to the Monument House. This path has boulders all around. You'll walk to your front door of the Monument House. The blue square is where you walk into. Out here, there's a couple seating options here to the right. There is a grill over here to the left and it's actually really clean if you open it up and it's easy to use a push of a button. It's hooked up to the propane gas, which is a nice luxury out here. But we'll continue with the outdoor features later. Let's walk inside this front door. You can already see the windows all kind of wonky out here. And let's walk inside and check out the interior. The interior is comprised of the blue and the green unit of the Monument House, and it is one bedroom, one bathroom, a full-size kitchen and living space, very, very unique and funky layout. So whenever you first walk in here, we enter into your kitchen space full-size kitchen, plenty of room. There's the refrigerator here on this left side. I'm really liking these uh, built-in windows all around the kitchen, so when you're inside, you can kind of look into your dining area. You can look into your living room area. Plenty of butcher block countertop all around. There's cabinets below and above. There's a bunch of them. Coffee supplies over here, and these cabinets above your sink are your dishes, and the colors of them match the house, which is pretty cool. And then on the other side, we have your oven and range. It is gas, so I know some people will prefer that over electric. I was cooking some chicken in here last night and it was a really easy process because they leave all of the utensils you need in here. And if we take a look down at the flooring, very unique pebble rock flooring, it's slightly uncomfortable to walk around. So they leave you slippers, which is really fun. So you could wear your slippers all around this house, very comfy. And we can walk out of that now and into your dining table space. This next room has a table right here in the middle with chairs all around and fitting with the postmodern aesthetic of this place is this light above just a pure round ball. And this is the first area you can see how the windows are kind of laid out inside, very funky geometric shapes. And that is this section. We can walk out of this. There's a hallway that leads to the left. We'll get to that here in a second. Let's walk into the main living space, which is your green unit of this home. And this is probably where a lot of your time will be spent. It's the largest area. The ceilings are very open. You can see the windows all around and doors that lead you outside. If you want to go walk outside, the views out of the doors are just beautiful rock formations. Inside the flooring continues but there's a huge carpet right here in the middle. You can also continue wearing your slippers and there is a couch, pretty large couch over here against this wall. You can walk around it if you need to. It has lights all around it and this all faces your built-in fireplace and your lounge chair right here. Sit in this chair right next to the fire. It does get cold at night especially or during the winter. I'm here in February and I hear this is like the most popular time to visit this area because the weather beats everywhere else in the United States. It's nice 70s, but at night it's about 50 degrees here and having this fireplace on is really cozy. So I'm really digging this feature in the Monument House. If we take a look up at the ceiling, it does look like there's a second floor, but there is not. So we'll walk around to the hallway again and we'll walk down this hallway back into the last section of the Monument House. 
off of this hallway, there is a door that leads out to your patio space. We'll get to there in a second. At the end of the hallway, there's two rooms to your left or right. The one on the right is your bedroom space. There is a king size bed in here. It's very nice to see a king size bed in the Airbnb. And it is kind of a tight fit. You can see me walking around, but I am able to walk on all sides of this bedroom. You probably won't be spending a lot of time in here anyway. There is a couple spots to store your luggage right here, a couple hangers. And then in this corner, there's a spot to store everything if you want to unpack it all. Your slippers, there are some robes here by Parachute that is a very nice brand and they're green matches with the Monument House. These windows can be closed with the blackout blind, which is nice, and the geometric windows even continue in the bedroom. And we'll walk out of that. Across the hallway is your bathroom, and that is the last space inside the Monument House. This bathroom is a little bit larger than your bedroom, I would say. Open space whenever you walk in here. The vanity is up against this wall with a huge mirror over here. Nice concrete countertop with your sink on this right side, and they leave the space on this left side if you want to sit down and get ready if you're doing your makeup or your hair, it's nice to sit down here. So pretty large vanity right here. Next to this is a large walk-in tiled shower. The square tiling fits with that modern aesthetic of this monument house and you walk in here, the nice knobs are on the right side. So you can turn on your shower, wait for it to get hot, then you can walk in here and it's very spacious. You can't complain about that. And then your toilet is off over here in this corner. The washer and dryer is in here as well. If we open up this door, we have it right here. They do leave the supplies to use it, which is really nice. And then there's a small closet system right here. You can hang up your clothes if you need to or store your clothes in here if you need to as well. So that is the bathroom space and that's the interior of the Monument House. If you've ever driven past this or if you've ever seen this online and wondered what the interior looks like, this is it. It's a great place for couples or just a couple friends to come here if you want to check out the national park or just have a great time outside let's walk outside and see what the boulders and the rocks all has to offer so out here on the back side is your patio space they have these little concrete slabs built into the ground which is nice and then there's a couple lounge chairs if you want to get some suntan out here perfect for that now you might be wondering what this pink unit's all about it's separate from the other and if we walk in here it's an open outdoor dining space you can be in here all of these openings are really nice to get some air it can continues with the funky shapes and it's just a dining table here in the middle if you want to get out here escape from the sun it can be up to 120 degrees here in the summer so this would be a great spot to come out here if you want to enjoy some drinks or some food and don't want to be really hot by the sun so that is the third unit in this entire monument house if we continue walking there's a fire pit out here and then there's another path through the boulders that lead to your hot tub space. Huge concrete slab that has your hot tub on it, a nice metal bench right here, and then you can pop open the hot tub cover, place it right here, and get in this hot tub being surrounded by the boulders. This is one of the best areas to do some night sky viewing. So if you wanna get in the hot tub, enjoy your time out here. You can't see any of the other houses while you're in this hot tub. You're surrounded by rock and boulder, which is just so cool, especially being from Ohio, where it's just weeds and trees and grass which is really nice don't get me wrong it's just a nice change of scenery being out here it's very unique if you ask me so that is everything you get here at the monument house i can't complain it was very cool especially if you're wanting to come here to joshua tree national park it's one mile away it's one of the easiest national parks i've been to to like navigate and do some hikes at and just enjoy your time at and this place is an eye catcher for sure so if you want to check this place out the link is down in the description below it's hosted by homestead modern which they host a lot of places here in the joshua tree area and they have an app that you can use and 24 hour service is really nice so highly suggest checking that out and guys thank you for watching this video it's nice being in southern california again and i'll see you in the next one